Welcome back to session two of how to use Google Classroom uh, for your class successfully. Uh, so if you haven't seen episode one just yet, you can go ahead and uh, click back to that first one uh, before we dive into the second session. For this session here, we're going to look at uh, the classwork session of our classroom, where we're actually going to start creating those assignments and even create a final assessment for our students. So let's go right into it. And within classwork, you are going to see that we have a big blue create button here. I'm just going to go ahead and create and we have different types of items that we could actually add to this classwork session from assignments to various questions to materials and even topics, all those things that we're going to talk about today. So let's add that assignment right now. And we can just go ahead and give it a title uh, assignment one writing task. And here we can add a few instructions. Click the link below to complete today's assignment. All right, so let's go ahead and add that document. So we can add various attachments to this Google assignment from something from our Google Drive to a YouTube video. We could even create something from scratch, whether it's a doc, slide, sheets, drawings, or even a Google form. We can upload a document from our actual um, computer itself or even a link to a website. For this activity, this assignment, we're actually going to attach something from our Google Drive. We're going to look here. I have something right over here called September Startup. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. So you're going to see this Google slide link show up and we could click on it to check it out if we want to. The most important part is right here where it says students can view. This is actually a drop down menu that we have to decide on what our students are doing with this attachment. Are we only having them view the file? Is it just a quick reading uh, that they're just doing? Uh, can they edit the file? Now the students can edit the file means that they're all sharing the exact same copy that's in your Google Drive. Most likely you're not gonna want this one unless it's like some type of collaborative activity. Uh, the most likely you are going to want to choose make a copy for each student. So that way it's almost like photocopying those uh, hard copies of a document and you're giving each student their own copy to complete the assignment. The next part we're going to want to think about is who is doing this activity. So we only have our one classroom, but you could, if you wanted to and had multiple classrooms, you could assign it to multiple classrooms at the same time. This is the important part too. Right now it says all students. Maybe this is a... A specific assignment for certain students. So maybe uh, our new student has uh, an IEP, an individual education plan, and this is a, an assignment that's only dedicated to them. So I can go ahead and click on that and only this new student will complete this task and we'll see the task where student one and student two won't even see it in their stream. Uh, but for this example, we are gonna have all of our students attached to this assignment. Here's our grade point system. So if we want, we could just make this entire assignment ungraded, or maybe we want to give it an actual point total. So we can keep that at 100 for now. Here's a spot for our due date. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and create a due date for this. We can make it for tomorrow and we can even assign a time uh, that will actually notify the students that the due date and time is approaching for this activity. And right down here, we have something called topics. So depending on uh, the actual subject area, we could actually sort these assignments by topic. So I'm going to go ahead and create a topic. So this one will be September writing. Maybe that's what I'll call that one there. And then lastly, we could create a rubric so the students will know what we're actually assessing on and how they can actually collect as many of those 100 points as they possibly can. So we're gonna go ahead and assign this, and we are going to see it back in our classwork stream. There it is, and you can even see that it is already sorted under September writing for us. So as I mentioned, we could create topics, and what topics are, um, they're basically ways to just sort the material, sort the assignments in different categories so maybe by subject maybe by weeks maybe by day whatever that um, any other way that we need to sort of for our students so we can even create some more if we wish so that one was called september writing let's create a new topic called uh, math 
we can see that map is created. Right now, there's nothing underneath it because I haven't included anything yet. Anything that isn't sorted by topic will just get placed on the top. Uh, and then you'll notice on the left-hand side that all of the topic se sections are getting added to this list. So if I were a student or I wanted to see what activities I already have for September writing, we can go ahead and click on September writing and you'll see that it sorts and filters out everything else except for September writing. All right, so now I'm actually going to go back to all topics. Now I discussed a little bit about Google Calendar. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you're going to see exactly what happens in that calendar. And this is my teacher calendar, but this already happens uh, for our students as well. So you'll notice that right here, May 31st, we have that assignment added to our calendar automatically and even color coordinate. If I go ahead and click on that, we could actually see the name of the title of the um, the name of the assignment as well as the description that we gave. And this here is a link that actually brings the students and or the teacher directly back to that assignment page. Uh, we could even see the uh, Google Classroom that it's a part of. So if I go ahead and click that link, you will see that it will bring me back to this assignment and then uh, we can go ahead and complete that if we need to. Okay, so now we're back in the classwork section of our Google Classroom and I'm gonna go ahead and create a test or an assignment for our math section here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing. You could go ahead and create a quiz assignment if you don't have a Google Form already created. And I actually have a video uh, showing how to use Google Forms to um, mark tests and attach it to Google Classroom. So you can go ahead and go back to that video if you wish to learn a lot more about that. I'm just going to make this an assignment again and I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to say final math assignment. Click the form below to complete. I'm going to go ahead and attach it for my drive. I already created it. So I'm just going to hop over here, find test number one. And now it's attached. So because this is a Google form, uh, when you do Google form entries, every student is individualized anyway. So we're just going to keep that the same. And then we're also going to have all the students do it. Uh, number of points, we're going to keep it at hundred. We're going to have this due date set up for maybe Friday. And now this time we're actually going to add it to the math topic that I created. So I'm going to go ahead and assign that as well. And that's updated for us. And if I go back to my Google Calendar, I can see that, close that one there, there's my Friday, June 2nd final math task uh, that I just created now. So that's all set for the students to see and they can go ahead and complete it. So now that I have my first two assignments put into this classroom, uh, I could actually go back to the grade section and we could actually see that uh, the list of students is already there for us as well as the two assignments. Now, nobody has done anything yet but as the students complete them, uh, this gradebook will uh, be updated after I review them and provide a mark for those students. So that will be uh, in session three, which is coming up really soon. So I hope you check that out as well. Uh, and please feel free uh, to subscribe and continue following our uh, classroom sessions here. Uh, I think this would be a great way to organize your classroom uh, for the next year and beyond. Thanks so much for being a part of this, and I hope to see you soon.